we are going back to the basics. Counting. How do we count? Well, and the reason why I'm doing this is because, well, we got to know how the computer represents numbers, um, how it stores numbers. It stores numbers with a little device called a transistor. Let me read this quote to you. This is from a letter to her mother in, 18, in the 1840s. Lady, Lady Ada Lovelace speculated that Charles Babbage's analytical engine might act upon other things besides numbers. The engine might compose elaborate and scientific pieces of music of any degree of complexity or extent. Who knew that she was going to be such a, um, a visionary, right? But it's all about the numbers. Now, Charles Babbage's machine, it represented numbers, and he, he had tried all sorts of bases, but it represented numbers with base 10. It had these, these uh, cylinders that turned, and because a cylinder has pretty much an infinite number of positions, he could have picked any base, and he had done each, he had basically put the numbers, a zero through nine, around each cylinder to represent a digit. Okay, now why do we use base 10? Well, probably because of these guys, right? You know, um, we go zero, one, and remember, and, and this is something you're going to hear me say over and over again, all good engineers start counting from zero. So, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then we filled them up, and so we need to increment the next highest digit, right? Um, what was it about base 10, though? Well, the reason, probably because we have 10 fingers, right? Well, if you talk to an ancient Sumerian, that probably wouldn't have been the answer. They used base 12, base 60. Heck, some of the ancient uh, civilizations used base 144, um, and, 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 well... I don't really have 144 anything. I, heck, I don't even have 144 hairs on my head. How did they use those bases? Well, it turned out that they used their fingers still, except they used it in a slightly different way. What they did was they used their thumb as a stylus and basically pointed at the at the segments or, or joints of the segments of their fingers. So we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Right? Now, that makes sense for base 12. It could possibly even make sense for a base 24, possibly, but that wasn't how they used this left hand. Base 60 was done more along the lines of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 12, and they put a finger, uh, they, they raised one of the fingers on their left hand to indicate they'd gone through this hand one time. And then they went 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and had a second, a second finger. So they could count through it five times, count through their right hand joints five times, and get 60. 144? Well, 144 would have been something more along the lines of using the joints on their right hand to count through the, the um, ones place, so to speak, and then count through the joints on their left hand for the twelves position. Think about it this way. What you've got are two digits, right? And in our standard base 10, what we do is this is the ones place, this is the tens place, right? And another way of looking at that is this is the 10 to the zero place, this is the 10 to the one place. Well, if you have the two hands, what you're looking at and counting the joints, what you're looking at is this is the ones place, this is the twelves place, corresponding to 10, 12 to the zero, and 12 to the 1, right? Okay, now, so we've got this digit, right? The 1's place. This digit, the 12's place. Computers don't count with their fingers. They don't have joints and so forth. What do they count on? They count on a little device called a transistor, which is put into a binary state. So you've got some sort of positive voltage here. You've got some sort of a control input here. And what you can do is from here, you read at this point either a 1 or a 0, right? That's the way they count. 
is with these digits. Now, what you do is you put one of these digits to represent the ones place. But now how many possible values can this digit have? Well, zero or one, there's two digits. So it represents its digits, once again, with the ones place in the least significant position. This is the two to the zero position. This position right here is the two's place, so to speak, two to the one position. This position right here is the four's place, representing two to the two. This position right here is the eight's place, two to the three. All right, now pretend our fingers are transistors. We've got them down, that's a zero, up, that's a one, right? And so I have 10 transistors, so to speak. They're either on or they're off, on or off, okay? So the way we count is to go zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and so on. So how high can we count with our fingers? Well, if we look at our fingers as on-off Boolean devices, each one of them can basically represent a zero or a one. We've got from all zeros, right, to all ones. How many digits is that? Well, let's take a look. Let's instead draw a representation of our transistor. Sorry about the pen. We'll do it with, let's see, 10 digits, right? All right, so we've got all 10 digits there. This is the ones place, the twos place, the fours place, the eighths place, the sixteens place, the 32, 64, 128, 256, 512, okay? So those are the fingers, right? So we've got all of our fingers representing those positions. Well, if we were to perhaps turn on or uh, you know enable or activate the say the ones position the eighths position and the sixteens position well what that would give us is sixteen plus eight plus one that'd be twenty five twenty four twenty five okay so what's the highest number I can count to on my hands is it ten no is it twelve no is it sixty no is it a hundred and forty four no what is it if all 10 of these are active, then what we have is 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8 plus 16 plus 32 plus 64 plus 128 plus 256 plus 512. That's 1,000, 1,023. So if I basically put a 1 or activate every one of these, what the computer reads this as, is 1023. Another way of looking at this is that if I had had an 11th finger, okay, if I were to add one to this, add one to this turns all of these ones to zeros and puts a one in this position. What's that position? That position is the 1024 position. That's the 1024 position, then one less than that is 1023. And so this is how the computer uses its transistors, its fingers, its digits, so to speak, in order to count in binary.